What's going on guys? Welcome back to It Doesn't Have to Make Sense. I am Shoki. Now, uh, normally I do music video reactions and things like that, but this time around I wanted to do something different because one of the main reasons I set out to do this channel in the first place, which is my third channel by the way, um, is because I wanted to show off some of the things that I'm looking at or I, you know, whether it's music videos or other things. Now, the, one of the only things I've done that steps outside of music video reactions or reviews was the SpongeBob SquarePants anime. This is not that at all. This is a funny thing that I stumbled upon the other day. And it's called Mechanical Problems Compilations, also known as Customer States Videos. Now, as a trained mechanic, which I am, uh, <laughs> was anyways, uh, went to school for it for a couple of years, learned a whole lot, worked on many cars. In fact, I, worked on, I fixed my wife's brakes this weekend, uh, banged up my hands a little bit. Uh, also dropped a brake caliper on my ankle, which is still kind of, hmm. but anyway, uh, so I stumbled upon this. This was in my suggestions and this is from car hub guys. Let me look. It's uh car guys hub. I read that wrong. Um, at least this is yes, this compilation video. So this is mechanical compilation problem part four, 2021. Uh, it's 10 minutes of mechanical fails. Um, whether I do all 10 minutes, We'll see what happens. I might edit some stuff out. But uh, being someone who is familiar with the inner workings of vehicles, no pun intended, or possible pun intended, and also in dealing with customer complaints about vehicles, this should be funny. Uh, and if I have to explain things on the screen, I will. Um, so if you find this hilarious, uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below because that's how growth happens on YouTube commenting, interacting with videos, stuff like that. Also, go check out all the music video reactions if you want to. And uh, if you want to see more things like this, let me know down below as well. Also, check out the Patreon where I will, where I have, sorry, a section just for you sensibles or senselesses or whatever we want to call you guys as a group. If you have ideas for that too, please down below. Um, lots of comments. Comments are a great thing. If you want to hit the dumb bell, do that as well. But there's a whole section there where you guys can drop suggestions. I'll make videos just for you guys to come out first and then uh, the normies can see it later. Also, we'll be doing like monthly uh, discord chats with you guys if you want to get on board with that where we can do like hour, two hour just chats and checking stuff out. Also, I'll be doing live stream reactions uh, once it is set up. Obviously, I'm filming all these things currently on the same day, so I still don't have my live stream permission on this channel, because you have to do that now. Um, so waiting to hear back from YouTube on that one. And then once I do, I will be multi-streaming from my main channel to here. And if you would like to donate to get certain things reacted to, uh, by all means, that's how we're going to play that. So let's get to this uh, mechanical complications or comp. It should have been mechanical complications compilation. Yay. So. I have no idea what's going on here. Dude is under a car, got on a lift. He's got a light. I have no idea what it is he's looking at. He's under the middle of a car, so we'll see. And I don't think quality gets any better. Uh, a lot of these are TikToks, by the way, which I find hilarious. There's a dude who's got like a huge bushy red beard. Uh, he's de he definitely does TikToks. But this does seem to be a high-end shop. This is a very nice sports car right here. And then this is a Beamer from what I can tell. So. Maybe it's a nice high-end German car shop. We'll see. All right, what's he got? Okay, he's looking at the transmission, which appears to be sideways. It was at this moment. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh! This idiot just dropped the transmission with nothing under it. Fucked up. Oh God, dude. Oh. Oh, shit. And I think the torque converter hit the guy filming. Why would you be filming this? Oh my god, it's flying at... Oh, it definitely hit the camera guy. Oh, and it probably broke the concrete too. Why? Why would you do that, slow Euros? Okay, what? Whoa! <laughs> That's not normal. It sounds like a horrible engine problem, but it's actually just the AC vents flipping. Oh my god. Corey James. Oh, today, yep. Those, oh, okay, this guy. Okay, I saw a couple things from this guy. I gotta back up. Uh, so, this one silly thing about some modern cars is they have circular vents that can 100% pivot. 
But if they don't put a stop and your thing is blowing hard enough, then yeah, that's going to do it. It almost sounds like he's blowing like a leaf blower through it. What kind of car is that anyways? <laughs> or truck, actually. Can't tell. On today's episode of How Fucked uh, Up Is Fucked Up. That's, fucked, that's up. fucked Up. And that's Fucked, that's up. fucked up. And, um, Fucked Up. Fucked Up. Okay, so on this episode of That's Fucked Up, That's Fucked Up. So, for those who aren't aware of what that just was, a green glowing fluid should not be pouring out of your cylinders. You're just removing the spark plugs, and there's pure water coming out. That's water that's on top of the pistons. That's blown head gasket or cracked heads at best. I've had this happen. That sucks ass. Uh, I've never had cylinder wall failures. I've had cracked head failures or dropped valves that actually punctured. Oh, no. I, uh, on an engine I bought for my car... Uh, trying to swap it out. I had a 2.4 conversion. It was kind of messed up, so I went and got a 2.0 dual overhead cam motor from a junkyard. Brought it home. Was getting everything ready to install, uh, and then went to turn the engine with uh, with a tur- with a breaker bar basically, and it would only go about 200 270 degrees thereabouts. Um, it would go one way, stop, go the other way, stop, and it was never to the thing. Apparently, the head had lost, uh, I guess it, maybe just a keeper fell out, something. Dropped a valve, the piston crushed the valve either into the head or through the cylinder wall. Either way, the uh, oil pan was filled with uh, lots of gunk that shouldn't be there. But that was fucked up. You're right, dude. But I like him because his videos are literally like three or four seconds long. And it's like, that's fucked up, and that's fucked up, and I'm fucked up. I guess hilarious. Okay. That's a really bad knocking. But... Whoa! Okay, hold on. That was an idler pulley that just gave out. Holy shit. Also, that sounds like Russian. Is it Russian? Let me know. That was crazy. Okay, so this is a big truck uh, brake drum. Probably a dually. So what's he showing? Oh, yeah. I'm very familiar with these types of vehicles. Hey, I don't know why, but my front axle is making a lot of noise. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because I can't put a vehicle, uh, wheels on there that have proper backspacing. So I'm actually torquing the wheels as I go down because I actually have all the weight of the vehicle supported on the inside of the thing. Please don't take real offense to this. We just had a major truck show in town this weekend and the city literally gets invaded by what I refer to as truck tarts. This is definitely a truck tart. And he went to AutoZone. No, sorry, Advanced Auto to figure out what was wrong with his truck. The driver. The loosen up behind the wheel is the problem with your truck. <laughs> what in the fuck is that? Tell me when to stop. Keep, keep spinning her. Keep going. Keep going faster. All right. Stop there. What? I think what has happened here is he wanted to have a Detroit locker and decided to weld whatever he had available, including a wrench. That's a chopped up wrench. The fuck is that? Oh, oh, what the fuck is that? What even is that? Keep going. Oh, stop. This is the best part. Oh, my <laughs> God. I... I don't know what's going on. I'm hearing a lot of loud, loud talking from outside. Okay, what the fuck? I'm not going to make through 10 minutes of this. I don't know what was going on there. All those modern touchscreens are stupid in cars. So it's kind of normal here, but what happens? Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh yeah. What do you think? Can we save her? That's what's known as bearing failure. All right, put it in drive. I've seen this. <laughs> I've had to help friends diagnose problems exactly like this. So, mind you, he's sitting on a stand, or actually, he might, not, he might not even be on a thing. He's like, man, I don't know what's going on. I'm making a lot of noise. I'm not driving right. Okay, put it in drive, and then you just see that your motor mounts are completely shot. Ooh, it's getting worse. Yeah, that's eventually just going to shake itself apart and fall out. Um, for those not in the alignment business, this is what's known as dog tracking. This is what happens when your rear end is not in line with your front end and your vehicle is going down the road. Sideways. Fuckers. And some people literally have no idea what's going on. They should notice the fact that their mirror, they can see the whole side of their truck, but nothing behind them. But they don't seem to notice. That also is an indication that your rear end may or may not fall out sometime soon. I ain't no mechanic, but... I don't know, man. He's just got I think flashes shit on. might be broken. Ooh. That's not good. It, al it already looks... It looks like an old, old... It's either a V8 or a straight inline 6. I can't... Can't exactly tell. I'm looking over here to see the Rebel Trucker 92. It looks like there's oil everywhere and it's steaming. Oops. My heart went... Fuck! So, uh, what is... No idea what exactly was going on there. What's going on, my fellow shitboxers? So, some of these cuts, it's just like, boop, you didn't have time to recognize. That's a shot, wheel bearing, at best. Uh, this, right here, is uh, what could only be explained as a um, chunk of engine missing. And it's got to be on the top side, because... This is a battery terminal, but that's a big ass hole where there used to be metal. And now you can see what's happening inside your engine. So that's fun. Does occur to me that could be a starter. So maybe, but there's so much daylight. But yeah, that's a, that's a piston doing its job. Check engine. So what this actually has turned into is a car meme review. Check engine lights on. There's no engine. And they're doing the coffin dance. Very clever, gentlemen. Very, very clever. I'm going to start that back over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Obviously something broke while they're trying to get up that hill. What was it? The axle's twisted, for sure. The shock is bent. What happened? Don't worry, boss. I glued it back together with super glue. We can still run it. It'll be fine. It was just leaning in the bottom of the oil pan. She's gonna be mint. That was literally a shattered piston glued back together. I don't even know what to do with that. I'm not even three minutes into this 10 minute compilation and my mind is blown. Oh son, that's that's a rod knot. No, 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 don't. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, we got the oil pan off of the C10. Now, yeah, you do, you got that oil there. pan. Uh, it looks like chunks. Well, that used to be a rod cap. Yeah, that it was for sure. And that used to be a rod bolt. Yeah. Now it's bent. Yeah. Piece of a main cap. That's fun. What else? Another got? piece of another main cap. Okay. Another piece of another main cap. It's a, it's a nice collection. Yeah. Another rod bolt. 
all kinds of various nuts and piston pieces. Bad bearings, yep. That's the transmission top. Whoa, whoa. That's not normal. Bro. Bro. It's all just falling out. Bro. I, I just said that. <laughs> is that a diff? What is this? That's either a diff or a transmission. I can't tell. The way everything's falling out, it looks like that's a vertical shot. <laughs> no way. That has no destroyed way. whatever it is. My first vehicle, I destroyed the transmission uh, with my very heavy right foot. Literally shattered first gear. That's really hard to do. But I did it. It was fun. All right. Whoa. That ain't supposed to happen. You want to put that back in? Uh, this but, this is fine. Don't even worry about this. Okay, I'm not, I'm oh, not worried about that. that. Look, this is completely... That is completely fine. Don't even... Don't worry about this. Not a this problem. This thing is a-okay. Okay. She'll start. Definitely start. Yeah. That's all she fucking needs. She'll start. Just vent the gas cap a little bit. Yeah. She'll fucking start. Don't even worry about it. I'm not worried about it. Let me see. Let me borrow the old rock number. Look at that. Oh. She'll fucking start. <laughs> it's down a piston or seven. Oh, Aww. we almost got her there. It smells, it smells completely fine. They're definitely from up north. Wow. Well, Ooh. Time to see Fluid how drain. cold metal she actually is. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's just oh, fuck, silver, yeah. silver water. Oh, Holy shit. 57,000 miles on this gym. Why? That Check right. engine light. I think we're fine. I I'm think we're fine. Oh, let's don't, don't, don't. I'll this, put her in neutral so we don't stall. This is definitely the same, guys. That's gonna hurt it. Put her back in drive. Oh, Anthony. Oh, look look behind us. Look behind us. Oh, my God. I assume it's smoke. Wait, was this the same car? We blew it up. The we same Tahoe? No, it's we not. It's not a light. Oh my God. What are they in? I can't. Is it filling with smoke? They can't stop. They can't turn. No, stop. It's pulling to the right. I'm trying. Take the fucking wheel. It's a Pontiac. Whatever it is. <laughs> Invented the dipstick. <laughs> Uh, stop putting music in the videos. Oh, that's oil in there. That's not good. That's oil. Yeah, mint. It sounds okay. Falls off and how it helps you zip tie it. Yeah, it does actually. Look at that. Now it's. First of all, if I learned anything from road kills, you can fix anything with the right amount of zip ties and duct tape. Period. That's why the zip tie drags used to exist until Motor Trend no longer decided to use that name. All interlaced. <laughs> See? Perfect. Jeep Renegade. And you're doing it wrong, let's be honest here. I'm sorry. Okay, having just done the brakes on my wife's car, which were just normal wear and tear on the brake rotors, and I think this is actually a rear wheel. How the fuck do you do that? I mean... How the fuck do you do that? Get fucked that's right. Getting butt fucked. Oh. This is why you don't let your teenager drive a brand new Renegade. Uh, I guess that's why. Ford van. Same guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You are, you are. 
Okay, so what that is, that's pressure testing in the cylinders. He has zero. There's no compression in that. Stop using copyrighted music. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. Oh, no it is. It's a power stroke. Never mind. I bet it's going to geyser oil. Okay. Can you not turn the key? I'm trying to... I'm waiting. What the fuck? Right, so on today's episode. I don't know what just happened. Nevada. Also, this is a right-hand drive Nissan. Cool. Let's go for a spin. Okay. That's one gear. That's one gear, yeah. Full crank. Two. Three. Four. Five. I feel like the shifter is probably not connected to anything. Also, I'm just now hearing that it's raining outside. And six. Well, going sixth? All right, man. No. Fuck. That one's done. But you guys yep. see the bottom here. Rut row. That's a hole. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, that's a hole. That's crack. Yep. What do you that, think that. they did? You know what? Just uh, wait for it with your... Oh, hello! Jesus! Big old gaping hole on the back of her. Also, female mechanics. Mm. Cracked. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoa! That is a wheel bearing that's gone. You're gonna die. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Up. It's fucked up. How fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> Obviously there's somebody imitating the guy. They sheared the wheel completely off. Too much grip. Too much grip. Well, it's solid ice out here today. Yeah. Uh, one way to tell. <laughs> That's one way to tell. I just lost control. Yes, he did. In the ditch. <laughs> All right, so that was that video. I've already watched the first couple. As you can see right here, Customer States Compilation Part 2. That's uh, the one where uh, you can see the brakes have clearly vented themselves. But either way, so if you want to see more dumb content like this one, this is basically just a car fail meme review. Um, good God, some of that went bad, and I just realized I haven't pulled food out for dinner. I'm going to be in trouble. But guys, I will catch you next time. Remember, as always, it doesn't have to make sense, but um, people still do it to their cars.